السلام عليكم اهلا وسهلا 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 This as the war on terror was becoming part of our nation's lexicon, these soldiers were dropped into Afghanistan to find, fight, and defeat the Taliban. Highly trained but underprepared, the special forces had to rely on intelligence as much as they can on firepower. It sneaked into the mountains of northern Afghanistan in October 2001 to support the local armed forces Northern Alliance to overthrow the Taliban regime. What is the problem that they faced during their operation? It is because they do not know how to ride horses. Next is why do they need to know how to ride horses? Because they have to fight on horseback. Why do they need to fight on horseback? They need to climb mountains to reach their destination. Why do they need to climb the mountains? The answer is because that is the only way to the Taliban stronghold. Why do they need to go to Taliban stronghold? They need to stop the Taliban from taking over Afghanistan. And lastly, why do they need to stop the Taliban from taking over uh, Afghanistan? Because the Taliban are extremist people. Hi, I'm Nuru Sazad Ibrahim, Matrix Number 219077. And the next problem is that why did the US miss the first airstrike? Well, the main reason is that the coordinate given by the Captain Nelson is too far from the target. If you notice, Captain Nelson rely heavily on the command given by the uh, General uh, Dustin. Although he's having doubt when making those decisions, and you might ask, why is this? How is this a problem? Why is this a problem? Well, first they waste all those missiles. Second, they alerted this Taliban group by exposing their position to the enemies. So how do they solve this problem? Well. Thank God that Captain Nelson decided to follow his instinct instead of blindly following the order given by the General Dostum by heading towards near the targeted position to give an accurate coordinate to the Air Force team. Moving on to the next problem is what language does the Captain Nelson knew besides his native language? Well, besides English, he can only speak Russian, which can pose problems when it, when it comes to communication between him and the Afghanistan people because in Afghanistan, they only speak Pashtun and Arabic language. Being in a foreign land where you don't speak their languages put a huge disadvantage to the Captain Nelson and his troops because it can cause some miscommunication or even worse, their allies might use this weakness to uh, manipulate them. I am 2190778, Nur Christina Binti Badru Hisham. We use SWOT analysis to identify the leadership strategy used in executing the mission. The first point is teamwork. Dustum has agreed with the American soldiers to work together because they had the same objective, which is to stop the Taliban. Second is make a wise decision. At first, Dustum planned on attacking the Taliban and told Captain Nelson about it, but Captain Nelson had doubt because he thinks that Dustum's plan was unstrategic. So Captain Nelson suggested his plan to attack them with a different tactic. Later in the battlefield, Dustum joined hands with Captain Nelson to defeat the Taliban. Third one is brave. The operative team had successfully won the battle despite only having 12 soldiers as a volunteer team on, on this mission. Fourth is dedicated. All the 12 soldiers having a strong conviction and dedication for their country as they are revengeful. Next is strong enforcement power. For weaknesses, the first point is ego. General Dustum have more experience and knowledge of Afghanistan. However, even when they make allies with Captain Nelson, Dustum doubted Nelson by not telling him their full strategies and proper guide, resulting the US first airstrike is missed. The second point is naive. Captain Nelson is naive because he have no experience in the battlefield. Thus, he relies on the intel and strategy from General Dustum, who doubted his capabilities. The third one is insufficient intel on the geographical location of Afghanistan. And lastly, is an inexperienced soldier in the battlefield. 
Dustin armed forces have been decayed by Taliban and there are only around 1,500 troops and mi militia organization left. Most of them are not professionally trained and they are only holding old equipment. I'm 2190238, Chung Kai Shanks. The first opportunity is US has the modern equipment and strong air power. Second, the Chop Green Barracks are the US Special Operations Force who are good at infiltration and reconnaissance. The team helped Dostum reorganize the team and taught the soldiers some simple tactical skills. With the cooperation of this group, the Taliban was successfully hit. More importantly, there were no casualties in the US military team, and the Northern Alliance lost less than 100 people. Alliance with General Dostum as both of them have the same goal. The United States won the revenge while Dostum wanted to retire the hometown that had been occupied by terrorism and restore peace. The threat is, first, they have no proper vehicles and only depends on horse for battle. Second, the 12 US soldiers and the military are not friendly forces, hostile to each other at the first moment. At first, Dostum looked down on Nelson who had never been on the battlefield and his teammates. The other issue is the national condition and cultural differences between two sides that will definitely encounter some problems such as trust, suspicion, and temptation. The last issue is the Taliban have many weapons supply and followers who do not fear death. Besides the conventional light weapon, the Taliban armed force also have certain numbers of pickups, trackers, tons, guns, and rocket launchers. A few Taliban men volunteer to sacrifice themselves as a suicide bomber. That's all for my group. Thanks.